Today I want to show you another idea how to cook um, a bunch of meals. You can prepare one meal to eat for dinner or for lunch and then have extra for the next couple days. So what I'm going to show you right now is going to prepare about five meals. And what it is, it's going to be squash, asparagus, and grass-fed beef. So I don't personally do too well with sweet potatoes, and so I need some higher starch vegetables to eat post-workout or just throughout the day to give me a little bit more carbohydrate. So I've recently been using yellow squash, and I really like it. So take a look here. Let me show you how to prepare this. It's super easy. I'm going to do all this in under 20 minutes. The first thing I do is I just cut the ends off like that of the squash, cut it the long way once, and then I line them up like this and just cut them here. I've already cut up three of them. I had four total. Uh, in the pan right here I have some olive oil and I already put a touch of sea salt. Okay, So I'm going to throw it in the pan just like that. You can see, uh, excuse me, not olive oil, coconut oil. I've been cooking all my vegetables in coconut oil. So there's about four scoops of coconut oil in there with a touch of sea salt. Follow me right over here. I'm going to throw it on the stove. So what we'll do is we'll get um, the, uh, the vegetables going. They'll take a little bit longer than the beef will. So I'm going to cook these at about a medium temp. And I'm going to cover them up just like that and let those guys go. Here you can see I've shown you before with the asparagus. All I do is cut off the ends, wash it, throw it in a pan. Same thing, super easy coconut oil and a touch of sea salt. I'm going to also cook this on medium. We'll get the vegetables going. As, as um, I said, they take a little bit longer. I'll cover this one up too. So the vegetables have been cooking about five minutes, and now I just started my grass-fed ground beef. I used my favorite. I use it all the time. This Barsari double-A seasoning, and I also did a touch of black pepper. So I'm going to get these going. And uh, you can cover them or not. It's, it's up to you. Uh, I'll flip them just one time, though. So we'll be back after this is cooked uh, for a couple minutes, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so it's been cooking for about five more minutes. Um, I've been making sure to move the asparagus around a little bit to make sure that the stuff on the bottom doesn't overcook and to make sure that it, it just cooks evenly. Um, you can see the nice uh, the coconut oil is all melted. It's cooking pretty well. I'll cover that back up in a minute. Back here, I have the squash. And I just continue to move these around. I've done this a couple times just to make sure that it also cooks evenly. And then I'll cover it back up. The burgers, I have a pan over this one just to keep the heat in. And the burgers are ready to be flipped. So they're, they're cooking a little bit uh, too much. I'm going to turn the heat down slightly. I'm going to flip them one time. The burgers are a couple minutes from being done. I'll just kind of let them sit in the pan. So I'm going to cover this guy back up. And we will be all finished and ready to eat in less than another five minutes. So here we are with the finished product. The whole thing took less than 20 minutes. We're about 18 minutes right now. I got one meal right now and I have four leftover meals for the next couple days. As you can see, I have the grass-fed beef patties, the asparagus, and the yellow squash. So as you transition to you know, a paleo lifestyle, this is a perfect paleo meal, you need to make sure that you're getting enough fat and you're really, really upping your vegetable um, intake. If you're used to consuming dairy and grains and things like that, you're, you're not going to get by if you're just having a salad with some grilled chicken on it. It just it will not fill you up. You're going to have cravings later in the day. So you really need to make sure that you uh, incorporate some higher fat cuts of meat and also really, really up your vegetable intake. As you can see how many vegetables are there, that's a typical meal for me, and I feel great for about four hours after eating this meal because they have the right amount of fat. I also have some fat um, in the coconut oil that I use and a, a large serving of vegetables. So there you have it. It doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of money. You can eat great, prepare meals, always have extra. If you have the food in your refrigerator, I know you will eat it and you'll do great on this diet. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my Facebook fan page. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter and uh, comment on the blog as well. I love to help you uh, incorporate a paleo lifestyle today.